by special recording. General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, and Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, present The Lone Ranger. <laughs> of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, a lone ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Something to think about, isn't it? To become a champ, you don't have to be born a champ. Take Bob Feller, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. Young Bob was born a farmer's son. He practiced ball when chores were done. He worked for speed. He learned control. To be a champ was young Bob's goal. So he ate Wheaties bowl on bowl. Bob's been a champ for many years. It's Wheaties flakes that he still cheers. Bob Feller ate Wheaties as a kid. Still eats them now, 23 years later. You can't beat them. There's a whole kernel of wheat in every wheaty place. Okay, Bob, wind her up. Hey, hey, hey. He's on his way, on his way. He's on his way, on his way. Get on your way. It's wheaty. Cause champions are they not born. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with wheaty. Breakfast of champions. at Fort Griswold spoke to Emmett Gardner, leader of the wagon train that had stopped at the fort on its way west. Gardner, we're under man here, as you can see. The only escort we'll be able to give you is a squad of men. They'll go with you as far as Fort Jackson three days from here. But I'm sure we need no escort, Captain. We have more than 40 men in our party. We're well armed, and the men are good shots. We'll get to Jackson, all right. I can't compel you to stay here. So if you insist... We do, sir. We wish to go on at once. And all I can do is hope that our scouts are wrong. I'll get the men at once who are to escort you. Corporal Hatton. A short time later, a squad of eight cavalrymen left Fort Griswold as advance guard for the wagon train. An hour later, the main body of the train followed. Get up! Get up! Two days after the wagon train had left Fort Griswold, the Lone Ranger and Toto sat astride their horses high in the hills. Beneath them, along the banks of a stream, was an Indian encampment of more than a thousand warriors. This is bad, Toto. Those are Chief Crazy Bear's tribe, Lone War Paint. Ah, and the way they make camp, mean them get ready, go on warpath. You see, five tents near river? Yes, those are council tents, aren't they? Ah, and them belong to Crazy Bear. And four other chiefs. That's where big chiefs meet, make plans. Crazy Bear was once my friend, Toto. But if rumors are true, he's a friend of no white man now. Well, him say white man break promise. Drive him to another country. It would be useless to try to get to him now. There's only one thing to do, Toto. We ride to the main trail to where the telegraph wires are strung. You climb pole, cut in on wire? It's the only way we can get soldiers from Fort Jackson to come in a hurry, Toto. It'll take them almost a day to get here once they're notified. If we ride, it'll take too long. Yes, that's why we'll use the wires. Move to it! A few miles away, near the main cross country trail, Corporal Hanson and his advance guard neared a thickly wooded section that hemmed the east side of the road. Men! They think it's what out! The soldiers, suddenly alert, slowed their horses to a stop. Then, before they could prepare to arrange a defense, 
More than a hundred Indian horsemen rode from the underbrush, firing. Several soldiers fell to the ground wounded. The others, firing point blank, killed or wounded some of the brave, but were soon swamped by the wave of red men around them. Corporal Hampton yelled to the brave who led the Indians. All right, Indians, we give up. Come on and take us. into the hills towards their war encampment. They left behind a group of nearly half that number of warriors to watch the road that led from east to west. The Lone Ranger and Toto in the hills about half a mile from the main trail heard the approaching horsemen and reined their own animals back among the trees where they would not be seen. Oh, 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 oh. Must not be look. Engines. Heat. Plenty engines. They have some men flying across this saddle, Toto. Soldiers. Until the soldiers get here. Gardner Riley, 
I think there's an outside chance that might be done. A million to one chance, perhaps, but we're trying. Quickly, a shot whined close by. The Lone Ranger outlined a plan. When he finished, Emmett Gardner fired one more shot. Then spoke. You'd have to be a miracle man to do a thing like that. We have blasting powder and dynamite with caps and fuses. If you need those things, doggone it, you're welcome to them. Ah, got that one. <laughs> yeah, Emmett, sure. Stranger, you think the Indians mightn't fight if they didn't have a chief to lead them? Yes, they'll quit the field of battle if a chief is killed or hurt badly. And the greatest chief of all, Crazy Bear, is the one who will lead this war, if it goes on. Well, all I'm worried about is this battle, and saving the people who are with us. That's the important thing. What is it you want, stranger? Five or six sticks of dynamite. Also, two juice bags and enough blasting powder to fill them. That part's easy. Riley, I'm crawling out of here for a while to help get the explosive. You go ahead. We'll keep them off. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. I'm Mel Allen, the fellow who broadcasts the New York Yankee baseball games. Naturally, I'm a little partial toward the Yankees, but I'll tell you this, when the Cleveland Indians come to town, there's one fellow I really keep my eye on, and that's Sweeties champion Al Rosen living proof that champions are made, not born. You watch Al in batting practice or whipping that ball around with his teammates, and you can tell every move has been grooved by years of practice. Sit down with Al for breakfast, and you'll see where he gets that energy. Al chooses Wheaties. He knows. You don't get on top or stay on top if you're not in top condition. Now, Wheaties are nothing new with Al Rosen. No, sir. He's been eating them 22 years since he was seven. Not off and on either, but right along. Wheaties can help anyone get on his way. After all, there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties place. You can take my word for it. Champions are made, not born. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of Champions. Well, how do I 
sent a message. Those Indians who rode for help have almost half an hour's cut on us. We must hurry. Come on, come on. Take that Indian off the horse. Right. Oh, he looks like a chief. 
He is a chief. A crazy bear. A short time passed, time in which the Lone Ranger spoke earnestly and sometimes threateningly to Chief Crazy Bear. Finally, the Indian spoke. Ah, me believe what man who covers face say. Whatever troubles you've had will be handled in good faith by the Great White Father. I promise you that. Me not want to die before time. Me do what say. You light fire so engines see face of Crazy Bear. When them see Crazy Bear, them come here, listen to what she say. Me tell them, throw down guns. Me tell them, no war. Soldiers arrived from Fort Jackson the next day and found a subdued Indian encampment. Instead of the war maddened one they had expected, a wagon train was drawn up near the Indian camp, and the leader of the train, standing with Chief Crazy Bear, told the officer in charge all that had happened. And so Crazy Bear called off the band that attacked us. When morning came, we all sat around with Crazy Bear and made a brotherhood pact. Indians not going to fight white man now. Man who cover face. Say all be good. Him know what Indians think. Then they certainly must. Else he'd never got away with that explosion, Percy pulled. I still can't believe he did. And yet the evidence is here. Crazy Bear, you knew that man before. Who is he? Only white man, Indian trust always. Him, Lone Ranger. Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network. <laughs>